Okay, we are starting. We are starting the game. Okay, we are starting the game right now, and this is the Viper versus Tatot, the last quarterfinal, the last quarterfinal, and this is going to be absolutely, absolutely epic. Absolutely epic. We have Hansa Mongols for the first one. The Viper with the hands and Tatot with the Mongols. Well, we we have to focus here because this is absolutely sick. And oh the bettings, man. Let me let me check the bettings, man. Let me check the bettings one sec. I'm checking the bettings. The Viper. Tatot. Those are the bettings. You have five minutes. And say that. And when we have the bettings there, we can say, How do you do it, Mr. Doubt? Welcome to the channel. Let's see if he listen to us. Come on, guys. People people is is waiting, but he's here. He's a little bit shy to talk. Or maybe it's with the Shisha. But he will talk, guys. He will talk. Let's see when, when he's gonna talk. He's, he's making all us to, to wait a little bit more than what we wanted. Okay. And at the back, we have the wood for the Viper. He has gold at the back, too. A stone on a side and super open. Super open. Okay. I believe that you listen to me, but I don't listen to you, Mr. Doubt. I don't know if you are talking, but uh, I don't listen to you, man. Now he's trying to lame Mr. Tatot. Okay, Tatot is trying to lame those those goats. And super open map here. Still going, you can see the fog of war. Three villages on wood. The Seras are at the back, okay. But he didn't lame it anything. He tried, but he couldn't. You can see the exploration, of course, with the Mongols better. Now going with the goat. And, uh, well, Mongols and Hans. What do you think about Mongols and Hans civilization? Might be a good chance here for, for Tatot? Mongols in late game? Well, I still think that Hans are so powerful, but... Well, we will see. You never know. Right? Thank you for the name to my pap. Let's see. Thank you so much. And... Doubt is here, but he's not talking. At least I don't see any signal in, in TeamSpeak. But he might come soon. Maybe we're gonna listen some scream soon. Anyway, one, two, three zebras. That he's not pushing and he should push. The gold is at the back and the wood is okay. He should well don't like those hills are really terrible. And both stone in, in front. As well. Well, let's see what... Uh-oh. That goat. Ah, but he noticed instantly. And he moves. Let's see. Man, these, these are two great players. Both belong to Secret. And uh, they're friends as well. Might be might be nice for them to... Well, something special to play each other in, in a quarterfinal from King of the Desert. Okay. Well, we are checking. Tatot is gonna go up already? With 19 population? Yeah, 19 population going up. And the Zebras is... Under the TC already. Now he's pushing the Zebras. Well, it is okay. Oh, but he's missing two, two goats. And the Viper? Of course he's not gonna send, you see? <laughs> this is a tournament, man. You don't send now. You don't send now. Okay. Let me check. Go, go, Tati. Oh, <laughs> finally you're so here, nice. man. Man, what's up, man? Thank you for coming. I'm <laughs> sorry for late. Just come back from birthday and yeah. You know oh. your life is not amazing when you're birthday. Oh, it's oh. always 7 p.m. Okay, okay. Go, 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 Tati. So I believe that you really support the Viper in this game, right? Uh, you believe wrong. Okay. And all okay. for Tati. All, all for Tati. But yeah. now I'm going uh, serious mode activated. 
handsome Mongol civilizations, Mr. Doubt, um, with the performance and the speed that uh, the Viper saw most of the times. What is your prediction for this game and according to the maps? Well, Viper is always lucky with maps, like safe would say very unsafe goal. That's amazing stuff, especially when you deal against fast Mongol play. On the other hand, Tati quite exposed, very not the best uh, wooden gold as well. In the far away, like three far away spots to protect. Tati need to keep aggression on. And it will be hard because Viper is already walling in. Don't you think that uh, maybe it should be men at arms, better choice than going scout a standard uh, against the Viper in this kind of situation? Well, when you're Mongols, you kind of want to open scouts because you are fast and you have enough food to produce those scouts non stop. Problem is, he doesn't have anywhere to put the pressure on. Okay. Well, you can see how the Viper is walling, is walling almost almost completely here on the right side. On the left, he's already walled and he's gonna wall more. He's also sending one scout with with that villager, so he's gonna be completely safe soon, man. And yeah, then... Exactly, exactly. He knows he's against Mongols that will have scouts faster in the map, so he is playing according to the map and series. And what, what Tatot can do when he see that he's uh, all, all wall? He should go forward and try to push with, with towers or try to go castle H as fast as possible? Uh, uh, does Tatot know about Viper Gold? Yes, he does. He will not go all in because towers will not accomplish much with that safe, safe map. One tower on the wood line and Viper map is completely safe. The best so Tatot the can do is walk himself. Okay, walk well, himself, maybe make some units in case that Piper is gonna come aggressive and try to go castle H as, as soon as possible, no? Yeah, exactly. That will try okay. to keep pressure with the army to control enemy Viper army with his own army, so he is safe at home until he finishes the wall, and that's exactly what he's doing. Okay, well, you can see he's there with the scout. I think Tatot knows, even if he didn't explore the left, the left part of the map, that he, he might be wall already. Okay. Yeah, well, he didn't wall yet, but he is gonna be. He's gonna be walled completely. And now, oh, don't lose those. Okay, the same villi is for both. And, uh, yeah, well, Viper has only five farmers for now. Tato, well, the same. They are more or less the same with the same villies. And Tato is doing exactly what you said. He's yeah, walling completely. completely. Walled. Unfortunate also for Tato. Even both stone forward, man. Yeah, he wants that one good eye transition. So I'm curious to see what units he will make in Castle Age. Like going into Knight's War is not the best when you're Mongol. Like but if you go, obviously. but if you go Cav Arches, even if they shoot faster with the Mongols, uh, uh, the hands go Cav Arches, cheaper it's, units as well. It's, it's complicated, no? It's about even, but uh, again, you want to hear that uh, Mongol oh, has oh, a hole. Oh, a no. hole. Come on. Oh, no. A hole, always a hole. What is this? It's always a hole indeed. Why is happening this in every single game? I mean, doubt, but happened to every player, man. Maybe <laughs> only don't happen to Viper, you know? Seems that way, doesn't it? That really, really hurts. Like, why uh, Tato's already sending two religious on stone, now he needs to back off from that as well. This is really, really a mess for him. Yeah, he's sending scouts back, yeah. Okay. Well, he has the scout there, now he has one spear. Yeah, he's going to protect, but the problem is that if you are playing against Viper, also he kept the hands. Uh, you need to try to, to, to play a perfect, right? Yeah, you can't afford mistakes like this. It's Viper and he got a bit uh, better too, so... Can't allow this. Also, yeah, because... Tato made more scouts, that means his uh, guess rate will be a bit slower as well. Yeah, because even... For example, for a really late game, the Mongols and Magonites, I believe that they, they are super powerful against the hands as well. But to, to, to get there, they, they are so expensive, right? Yeah, you need to invest into Castle and Magonite production rate is like the slowest in the game. Okay, well, let's see, 38, 33 population, 31, 32 with the fall of war. You can see that now he's deleting the palisade and try to... But, but he cannot make any damage to Viper. And Viper resources are already Mr. Doubt. 600 yeah, yeah. foot. Almost... The, well, he just did the goal and he can go up Castle Age. What? 19 minutes Castle Age? Perfect. 20 like, minutes. Army composite, like everything Viper did was perfect to play against Mongols. Well, of course, his map helps a lot. Very safe map. Not sure what Tati can do best here. Going for Magudai now it will definitely not work. So, well, we have tried to make a super aggressive map for Tauta, and even like this Viper is getting the best maps all the time. Yeah. Or what? <laughs> exactly. Like... 
<laughs> what we have to sense. do to, to, to nerf this guy? What we do to nerf him, man? You move yellow color. It seems that's, that's the reason. Well, I, I am. I do that in my... Here I have the blue for him, you know? Blue for Viper and, and red for Tato. It's LG, okay, it's, it's not working, right? It's, it's not working. Well, I, Viper... I see it is yellow. Yeah. <laughs> well, try LG too, man. Maybe if we if we get together, maybe it makes something. Anyway. Before the game starts, please. Yeah, okay. Viper is already Castle Age. 19 minutes, 41 seconds. Tato didn't make huge mistakes, use that little hole. But even like this, he's about to click up. And he's clicking up... Okay, I mean, it's a good time. 20 minutes, 43. And five villages ahead. Well, he but did the willpower on Viper, right? Yeah, yeah I think uh, he does did. Does he have Viper? Uh, Viper for sure. Tato, I don't think so. No, Tato doesn't have. Let me check. How important... He doesn't have. I, I check it already. Uh, how important is in this situation that you have Will Barrow in the transition to castle it and your opponent not? It makes a big, big difference? Not a win game or lose game different, but it's quite nice your economy when you hit castle age. And okay. also Stat is forced to make that tower on gold that makes transition to Magai even slower. And do, you think that tower, do you think that tower is good for Tato? It wouldn't be better to make forward in front of the stone? Yeah, because that's if quite coming... tower. Exactly right, because if you make it that tower, you want in front. If he's coming out with cab arches, that tower is almost not, not defending the stone. Yeah, yeah, that's like Stark Tower. I don't know why he put it there. It doesn't <laughs> make much sense. Especially yeah. against Cavalry Archer that you'll be able to snake villages. Man, look. Look at look at um, the Viper map. Do you see all the hills he got at the back? Right? Even he got exactly the spot to make a TC. <laughs> Every little... <laughs> it's amazing. I, I can... I don't know. It's, it's no, not supposed seriously. to be like this. <laughs> I mean, I, I saw those hills and then you check, what? He's doing a TC? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's just exactly the spot to make the tone center. Perfect, come on, man. Perfect spot. Like, most perfect uh, spot. Oh, uh, doubt. When we come back, we have to say him to, to, to let Tato host, man. He's the host of the, of, in the game. This is the key, man. It's or, the map, man. The colors. Nice game, switch yeah. colors. <laughs> okay. Jokes aside, guys, well, you can see that he's going with the Cav Archers. Tato did the tower, but the tower, you will see. If he's sending the Cav Archers, probably is not going to defend too much. Second TC, that is perfect yeah. because he's <laughs> also covering at, the stone. Sorry, but you have to look at the Tato TC and compare those two TCs. <laughs> it makes no yeah. sense. I mean, obviously, it's only TC spot, but just a little yeah. advantage with that perfect TC. So it piles up, man. It piles up. He's crazy. He's really crazy. And he cannot go outside to make a tone center because probably the Viper will be there with a knight or with cab archers. So. But tell us what is doing. He will do stone walls and probably run Mangonel to defend until Castle is up. Just full boom and try to get to the Imperial Age. And he might get that, but I believe that Viper might be ahead in economy, don't, don't you think? Uh, yes, Viper will be a little bit ahead of economy. And in the, look at the two forward gold spots with amazing heal. Castle drop will happen there. Viper will have a bigger army to control the hill to put the castle drop wherever he wants. Imperial Age uh, two minutes faster probably and finish the game. I'm the hype killer. But man, stop a spoiler, man. Doubt. I want you to comment the game, but if you say all is gonna happen, <laughs> you kill me I the see game. The man. <laughs> Memstradamus is gonna be Daudramus and you're gonna get a emoticon now in your channel with the ball. <laughs> have to. <laughs> Okay, GG, we'll play. What is yeah, gonna happen? In, what is doubt? What is gonna happen in NAC? Well, we will talk after this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's doing the outpost. Yeah, yeah. Let's wait a little bit. Let's wait a little bit because we have still also the semifinals and the final. He took a couple of villages already. Still, the difference is only three villages. He's going back. Oh, is that? Thought... Well, he has a nice wood in the corner. So actually, he could have. Put the, the wood already there instead of the second lambrican, right? That wood is extremely exposed, so probably he should have made that lambrican directly there. I know that he has to walk a lot, exactly. but it's obvious. It's obvious that he's gonna get ready there. Well, it wasn't obvious until he hit the hole, and that put him like every little yeah. mistake piles up at this level. Like if Tato didn't have hole, they would cast the same time, and he would be able to protect forward wood lane. Now he has to adapt. Anyway, we can expand with these players doubt uh, this kind of. Oh, he's doing the castle there. What do you think about that castle? Uh, well, I'm, because of monastery was on the place where I would put castle, basically. But now it's fine, I guess. Maybe you even, think... like, yeah? think ahead and put castle even, like, behind TC, because that castle will get turned down. I see the future, man. 
Well, but you, you are talking about a doubt castle, not a tattoo <laughs> castle, you know? <laughs> That's true. Okay. Um, do you think he will make now a lot of a lot of mango dice or he will keep booming? Because if you spend also in mango dice, you are going to slow down your, your economy as well. But still, you need numbers of mango dice to start piling up during the boom. And he can afford it. He can afford okay. for TC boom and production of mango dice. Okay, but he's already now... He's in pillage time. Yeah, he's already now with three TCs. Uh, he will add more tone center because we can see Viper with a four tone center already. Well, six villagers ahead, collecting relics, abusing that full map control. And is Viper on stone? I believe he is. Yeah, he is already preparing to drop that castle in front of the Viper, uh, in front of the Tato face. Maybe Tato. Map control. Maybe Tato. What he should do? I don't know if you agree. When he's doing some army, I will make a TC in that goal on the left, just to avoid that he's coming also. I mean, a tone center there, I think there is a spot to take that goal. Yeah, yeah. that's a good option. Make TC there and make one seed workshop, like a couple of Magnolots. Just not let uh, Viper climb on the hill. If you let okay. Viper climb that hill, uh, basically game is over. Yeah, but the problem is, okay, he's doing RT ranges. He want to make maybe skirmishes, it seems, because yes, yes. look at that population now. 69 villages for Tatot. Well, seven, seven villages, six, seven villages difference. But look at the army, Doubt. Look at the military now. And Will Barrow now. Ouch, a little bit late, no? He definitely is late, but I love the Tato idea. He's making skills. He knows that skill is in danger. And like normally, when you have full safe map and you're booming, you don't want to miss into army, but he knows how critical that in front hill is. So he's inventing into scrims, so he can deny Viper climbing that hill. Good well, look at that, definitely. Look at the timing, man. Look at the timing. Uh, wheelbarrow and hand cart. Wheelbarrow and hand cart. Something is happening because my wife is calling me at this time. <laughs> uh, I, I let you. One second. Okay, okay. I guess I should take over. So basically, that the idea is to mask arms and deny that climbing, uh, climbing hill, which will be disaster. Two front goals, big hill, caps should, uh, shoot down at the downhill castle. That knows that, and he will not allow that. Transitioning to elite scrums right away before hitting him. But quite, quite a impressive move. I'm curious to see when Viper will send villagers. He already have enough for castle. He's sending only one villager to make Robert's fear, uh, siege first. Okay, that's a safe, safe move. I'm, Secure I'm a back kill. out. Yeah, go ahead. No, I mean, uh, I'm not gonna say what what my wife wanted. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Just, the, let's That's go happened. with the let's go with the <laughs> casting yet. Yeah, but uh, man, it's, it's so complicated. This 20 villages ahead. You were already talking everything about that. I mean, if he's doing skirmishes, he's so many villages and double the army. I don't know, and he has the stone already, so he's coming with the siege and will make the castle exactly the spot you, you suggested. Do you think he's gonna take the risk? Yes, yes, it's it must thing to do. He got bigger amulet and he wants to seal the deal with Fast Rimp and that castle, and it's going to happen. Okay, guys, <laughs> I'm, I promise something. Doubt came a little bit late, but these games are live, okay? It's not recorded. I promise it's live because it's happening exactly what Doubt was telling before. Now I feel completely ashamed because one of the memes in my channel is that I'm Mestradamus, but uh, close to doubt, oh. I'm nothing! I'm nothing! And look at those skirmishes there! Do you think look he's gonna be able to do anything? Look no, at man. The oh, that, that is oh. playing super smart. He knows nice. this happen. He knew this and he... Nice! Perfect, perfect, Bikati. Well, he need to know because you, you both are practicing and I'm not kidding now, you practice a lot together, so you probably have talk about the games or maybe not? Well, lately actually did not practice with Tato, but this is just like common sense and good reaction from Tato. Really, really oh, man. impressed at how he's reading the game. Yeah, it's great. And also, look how fast the Mango Dice take the, the Mangles. That's the good thing with those Mango Dice there. He don't need too much to take those. He's trying to avoid that castle, but is Tato got some Siege? No, that's the only thing I'm missing out. Some Siege with some Mangle <laughs> will have a lot here, don't you think? Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying. Uh, like when you said he should put this spot there, I would put the seed workshop there to deny with Mangonel. Now he's not on hill, he's fighting downhill. If Siege was there with one Mangonel, that would be on hill and would not let this happen, guess it happen. And I believe the score is so similar. He's on the way to Imperial out. Already up to Imperial. With 22 villages different, that castle up. Oh man. 
Oh man. They did say he will have Imperial like 2 3 minutes. Fast and yeah. Tato and finish the game with that heal and... Sorry man, killing the hype. But... <laughs> <laughs> yes, You're not killing the hype, people. People is not gonna believe that this is live, man. Come on, shut up, down. <laughs> Sorry, man. Just I'm sitting here and no. Mute it, man. I have a hotkey, man. I forgot to mute you, man. <laughs> For the next game, man. For the next game. Well, I feel. You know what? I feel so good telling you shut up, and you're still okay. It's good, man. It's it, it's fine, man. <laughs> no, but now seriously. No, but but seriously. Uh, I'm missing the siege, man. The, the, with the siege, probably. I mean, if the advantage is there, look at Piper with the with the crazy. Come on, stop doing the gates. I hate those gates. Now, uh, now. <laughs> you too, right? Even more. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I get to play against them. You're just casting yeah. them. You are right. You are right. <laughs> yeah, but I see the gates so much because it seems like casting everything. I see the gates all the time happening. And, oh, okay. and really, the on the bottom, on the wood line of that. Denied. That was a greedy castle. That was a greedy. Oh one. wow. That was crazy, man. <laughs> well, but population, man. Look at the population. And Tato now with even more army. Honestly, according to the situation, let's face it. Tato is doing the best possible in this one. Yeah. Only if Tato was holding that hill, he would be in an amazing spot. He did yeah. amazing with Magudai denying the castle for some time, but he did not climb to the hill with skirmishers. That one was missing. One small move. Well, he still did, he did an OTC outside, elite Tarkans. He's gonna make also the, the, the Marauders and he's gonna push Tarkans. Ay, ay, ay. Well, it's a good choice because he's. he's a, uh, I was about to say, seems. It's much faster than going for Paladin's trans transition, right? Not only that, but Tarkans got extra armor, which will help quite a lot against Magudai. Okay. So, it's better choice than the Paladins? Uh, against Magudai and range units, I believe it is. Okay. Easier to upgrade and one extra armor helps quite a lot. And now seems you are you can be uh, you can make from uh, from the stables is is great, man. Because yeah. before before you needed many castles, but now Viper only need one. Exactly. Oh, but he's still doing the, he's still doing the castle uh, close to the wood. Well, he couldn't deny it completely. Not enough army. Elite Tarkans and uh, Tato but, is still even without bracer. But Look not how the tanky those are. But not an oath, not an oath, uh, Tarkans also. He got a lot of army, 111 villages, 131. The only problem that I see for Tato that he should have, I don't know, maybe one or two TCs out of this corner. It's like his corner in the in the map, right? Well, that's how he had to play because he didn't invest into army in Castle Age. He got cornered and he was hoping he will Imperial Age save, don't let that castle go up. But plan went wrong when the uh, Viper climbed the hill. Ah, look at the army now, he's sending all in, all the Tarkans in, trying to go and raid all his villages, and he's calling the GG, ay, 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 oh man, with those one, well, what else he could do, uh, that TC that we were talking, and the siege maybe, but other than yeah, that, yeah. and uh, put skirmishers on the Lake Magudai, debated the uh, Kevli Archers to fight, be uh, fight below the castle, then uh, Elite Skirmish should climb the hill, and then maybe castle would be denied, but fighting downhill even with skirms against Kelly Archer. Well, it's not, not complicated most fight. Yeah, yeah, really complicated situation here. And the military, you can see, guys, 44 Larry's army, 46 the unit kills almost double for the Viper economy. Boof, 4,000 more food, and uh, with this really impressive here, over 3,000 more gold and a lot more stone as well. Not wood, Tatot got more wood, but with more food, more gold, and also even a stone here. And Viper transition to Imperial. One minute faster than Tatot. You only miss it that doubt. You say two minutes, one minute, okay. So yes, it's sorry, it's live know. games. It's live games. You did on purpose, right? Okay. <laughs> need, to, need to create hype, man. <laughs> okay, well guys, hopefully you have enjoyed with this one. Clear, clear first win for Forte Viper in this one. Let's go, guys. Well, welcome everyone to the channel. Also, people on YouTube. Yes, we are with uh, with Sat Panda. I like to, to call you Sat Panda, you know. Doubt and Slash versus Franks. Oh, interesting matchup. Definitely a close matchup. Like early because game should be for Franks, but as game goes longer, Slav's advantage is getting bigger and bigger. Okay, because people consider Slav's that 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 super powerful. It's true that the economy is great, but we have seen Franks in this tournament really dominate, right? Because maps are open and early game Slav bonus is basically non-existing. Like in early feudal, how many farms do you have? Two, three. While uh, Frank bonus of free bloodlines, faster berry, free armor, uh, free horse color, 
He is quite good. How uh, basically... how much? Yeah. How much do you think? <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. Go, go, go. No, no, no. You are. I wanted to ask you how how much important is the panel, of course, in the players, but how important are the civilizations in the matchups? Because I have seen Leary with Japanese, for example, destroy players like like the less against Mayans. I mean, well, there is a lot of good teams in Bolo Kingdom now. Game is at the best balance state ever, and we are kind of missing the Viper stealing ball. I'm there. We'll you are, you again, are talking. Again. You are talking, but I'm there. I'm for, I'm showing this to to the viewers that he's slamming the board. You would call a restart in this kind of situation well, for a board. Well, if to notice that, I'm not sure if he can know that. Did he see the board? I think he did. I think he did. Yes. I'm going to his point of view. Fog of war. Well, he should see it because it was exactly for the zone that uh, for the part of the map that he explored already. Well, and then he should definitely call a restart. Like yeah, because his map... advantage from Franks is early, early pressure, early better economy, and with Boar it's gone. Yeah, and also his map is not is not the greatest because he has one wood at the back. But look at that goal in in the hill with super open map in that area, and all the other two goals are exposed, like in front, not big forest either. So maybe he's just yeah, waiting. But is not best, yeah. I will call the restart. Call a restart, Tato. Come on, phone him. What's up, him? Call the restart. He will call the restart. Although he's making a house. Well, and pushing there, so I guess not. What the hell? Well, well, maybe well, he's uh, with the berries uh, bonus from Franks that uh, is give you twenty five percent faster. Maybe he's he's confident that he can compensate his economy even with one board less. Well, maybe because like nothing guaranteed that the next game he will not lose board, so no reason to waste reset. Yeah, because man, his well. map is fine. Bay is safe, Woodline is safe, Gold. Well, it's close to Woodline, so it will be safe on, the, on Ugly Hill, but I don't not know the worst ever. Yeah, I don't know if you know the civilization. Also, maybe he wants to keep those because he also got Incas, Vikings and Britons. I'm talking about Tatot. Maybe he, he preferred to keep for those civilizations. And and that's a valid point, yeah. With Britons, you really need a good map. So maybe, yeah, because, yeah, maybe you're right. Because Britons, uh, I believe we are now talking really, really about the future, but with Britons, good map, imagine. Three militias, if you can go transition to Castellage and those snipers with one extra range, uh, can be very dangerous. And on top of, like, on opposite side, if you have bad map with Britons and playing against scout team, you're basically yeah. dead. That's truth. That's truth. Anyway. Now we can see how the Viper has three boars under the TC. He's gonna get fatty, 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 fatty Viper with those three boars. Well, we will see. Yeah, pretty good zebras as well for him. Yeah. Okay, but Tatot will be up in a good time. Look at this. He's doing the Luman with one boar. He's going up 19 population. Oh man. Yeah. These Franks. These Franks so good, man. These Franks uh, are good, man. Look, you can see how some little, well, maybe it's not little details, but some little change, right? In the civilizations can, can change the civilization completely, right? And that very bonus is so helpful for the for the Franks. I, I did not notice, but did uh, that went for the meal first? I think he did. Yeah, I think he did. Now, it's a good point because he has only three villages on Varys, you see? So he did the he did the the mill early game. He's doing this often, and then he made the lumber camp later. Exactly, this is what he did, and probably the, also for that reason, his economy has been uh, that great. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's that typical it's that. Move. He does that a lot. Well, you can see, man, below nine minutes feudal age with only one board. That's amazing. Now let's see if he can have wood and oath to make this table. That's a problem. Yeah, he will, but uh, yeah, it should be fine. Should be fine. Yeah. Problem is, ships will run out faster because uh, Bor is missing. Yeah, that's truth. Well, at but least he will not be able to constant, constantly make scouts after some point. Well, at least you don't need to make the horse collar. That's another bonus from uh, from Franks. So when he's gonna be farming, it's gonna be great. Now the viper is also pushing the servers. Come on, man! A lot of. A lot of economy here for the Viper. One need farms in a while. He also got two ships and yeah, two zebras. He will not actually three zebras already, Lord. That's a definitely a big economy boost for him. But it's crazy. You check now, right now, 
and uh, he's doing all the arborists, but his economy is with zero food, and he didn't make a single scout. Of course, he's gonna drop now some food from uh, from the hunt, and uh, and Tato's economy is doing scouts already, and still 300 food in the <laughs> in the bank. Yeah, that's what I said. Like Slavs don't have any economy bonus early game, while Franks' but economy bonus is quite yeah. big. Yeah, but those farm bonus is crazy. Do you think the Slavs need to be nerfed that bonus? Yes, yes, definitely need some new opinion, especially for late game. You can trade Hassel for Halberd is sufficient to be that farm bonus. Maybe, maybe use half. If it's fifteen percent now, make it seven percent or eight percent, something like this. If you want to give yeah, some bonus. Nerf it, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like five percent less. Or... Need need balancing obviously some games to practice with uh, with the less farming bonus, but definitely need to be less. Okay. Well, I am now on Tato's point of view. He's sending a couple of scouts. Remember, I forgot to say that in the early game, also with 54 HP, 8, 8 HP more, that in the scout battle with some good micro might help. But of course, the spears, when the spears are involved, it makes that that difference is not, not really important. Also, a good thing to notice is walking this. This is not standard. And again, Viper Luck is hitting in. Look how far away they are from each other. That helps uh, Viper a lot. That to need to pressure him fast and Spearman walking this is so long until they come there to pressure the berries. Yeah, that's true, man. Well, I like how he built at home Tatot because he has the barrack and the stable close to the wood to just to avoid this. But at least now he's trying, even with one boar less, he's trying to attack to 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 get the initiative. He has two spears in front, four scouts, and this is the way to play against the viper. If you play passive against the viper, who can win playing passive against the viper? It's really complicated, man. I'm I'm sorry to say that, but uh, mm. you 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 need to put the pressure on him. Well, it's not only about playing against Viper, but playing Franks against Slavs, you need to put pressure on early game. As well, even more. Yeah. Okay. And he well, he's trying to no farm here. Yeah, well, the Spears, he need to micro against those scouts, but not the not the scouts. He got five, six scouts, two Spears against four. So, aye, aye, aye. No, it's five, it's five. Okay, even my maths are terrible now. Mm. It's five scouts. And Viper, look, that's a really good move to wall villager outside. Let get sniped. Yeah, wall in absolutely everything. Wall in absolutely everything. I, I, I. Well, he has all the map wall, and he didn't expel like crazy resources. Look at the map again. Those big forests, and you don't get a lot of big forests in this KOTD map. But Piper got it, and now the Palisade Gate is gonna trap those scout. Oh, come on, Piper! I'm <laughs> sick of your or your gates. You no know doubt, and I'm talking serious now that we thought to to remove the Palisade Gate for the tournament. Really, but we thought, okay, if the developers don't don't want to to do that, and is it part of the game? I don't want to make like the tournament something really really different from the from what you play every day. You know, it's yeah, it's not I, the idea. It's like I don't know. Obviously, you need to do something about gates, but it's a big part of the meta during the rated game. So changing the tournament is yeah, not so good. Not good, not good. I mean, if I don't agree with those Palisade games, you know, but well, it's part of the game. Not not all can be. As everyone wants, right? Yeah. And okay. those gates, like, that is completely out of army now. And yeah. again, Viper is in driving seat, basically. Oh! But those Palisade Gate is the good thing. They are so weak. If you don't finish so much, you can see. And now he's trying to pick some villain. He's picking some villain. No, he still <laughs> didn't lose a single... Come, lose a villain! <laughs> Come in! <laughs> Viper! Like he did it! No! He still didn't lose anything! Lose a villain! No, please! No, he dies. He dies. Okay. Nice. Okay, he lost a billion now, man. Okay, <laughs> people in the t he need to lose something. I mean, <laughs> he need to lose a at least a billion, man. Well, four villains ahead. Did he make the will barrow and we didn't notice? Yes, Viper, yes, I think he did. he did, right? Okay. And getting bloodlands as well. Well, another problem now in feudal age because now that advantage with the 54 HP is gone. Yeah, now it's actually Frank's uh, scouts are weaker than normal scouts. Exactly. I and don't like that Viper choice. Difference with Spearman, he is sending scouts to counterattack. All the good moves. Yeah, I don't like that choice that, okay, let's give Franks 54 HP. Well, it's a, it's a bit less weaker than before, that's truth, because before you couldn't make the bloodlines in in Feudal and still they were normal scout. Make a house there, Tato. What's your, what's your, wood? One more what's your wood, man? Oh, but in the other side, another village down, okay. 
Okay, he's, he's... Nah, but the Gates is still doing the job. And now, at home, well, a lot of spears, but he got the bloodlines, the bloodlines using time and doing the damage, but Tatot... Tatot, Tatitot population here is seven villages ahead. I mean, if he didn't make the will borrow still, do you remember that the will borrow doubt is like three villages, something yes, like this? So he's villages. pretty ahead. He's pretty ahead Tato, right now. Good bet to this trade, definitely. And all scouts alive. This might be a Tat again. It can be, man. Look at Tatitot. Look at Tatitot. 55 population, 38. But we forgot to check the economy, Mr. Doubt. Check the resources for your friend. From this, the Viper, he's gonna click up to Castle Age right now. And After all this fight. Completely economy there. And he won everything. He is clicking up to Castle Age. You gotta be kidding me, man. But still. That one will go up after the after the will borrow. Uh, I'm not sure about that. That is getting market. Maybe he will sell and buy some food. Oh, he killed some more villages. You need to kill more villages. That's okay. Oh, he's losing quite a lot. There. Ah, I think he lost too much there. I don't know what you think. Well, he he knows he can't hit the, that economy, so he wants to lower down spearman number and keep the pressure at least on the base and wood line. I mean, on the gate. So this oh, is just an idle repair. Yeah. He's in a good position. Look, I mean, it's okay. He he did exactly what you said. He bought it 100 foot that he didn't need to buy, actually. Because look at now, he has 152. And he's up to Castle H as well with five villages ahead. Who is leading this right now, Doubt? Well, obviously, Tato is leading this. Look how happy, so guys. Did you see? <laughs> did you see how happy they sound, Doubt? You like, happy obviously, that well. obviously, that. <laughs> I have my personal reasons to be happy. Why do you hate Viper? <laughs> Okay, Goldman in upgrade. Um, I I bring an absolutely objective co-caster, guys. He's not biased, absolutely not. He's <laughs> absolutely objective. He's not subjective. He's with. <laughs> go go, <Tati. laughs> Okay, I believe, I believe in you. We do, we do, right? I should be here, the biased one, because I'm a Spanish like him. So, huh? I should be, but <laughs> yeah, I yeah, am. Actually, it makes sense that you're training for Tazo. Okay, well, oh, we can see. Exposed. Yeah, look, 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 if he see, if he see, he can see. No, uh -oh. man, but he always get the lucky, man, the luck. He <laughs> and he always get the luck. He's oh, there, no. he could take three villages, and now... Let's see the spear, he's gonna... No, but he can see the TC, come on, Tatito, no, are you going amazing. to go? Bah, but now he's there with one spear, he's not doing the damage. Population is getting closer, he's doing a town center, but Mr. Doubt. After all the units he's doing, he's doing now even the... The Pikeman upgrade, look at the food incoming for, for Slavs. He has over 600 food, man. Did now doing the Bozo. Well, he did not upgrade Knights completely. Basically, Viper is struggling getting gold income. Only four villagers working world. So he is investing into Pikeman defense and... Yeah, but what... to survive what, all the game. Exactly, but what he wants to go is to the late game. Exactly. There, and there is uh, where Franks will not stand a chance. Playing safe. Okay, well, Pikeman Abrid, both of for both Squires, Squires even Viper, but both are going Pikes. Do you think it's the right choice for, for Tato to go Pikes as well? Well, it's only answer to the enemy Pike. He can't go really Cavalry Archers, so... Maybe, maybe forward Siege on that uh, awful, awful forward gold on Tato would be maybe better option. And it's quite now... critical for Tato not to lose Scouts, because minus trees are obviously coming up, so those Scouts will play a big role Stampy Monks. Okay. Well, uh, I mean, he got the uh, the main goal now with a tone center, but if you check that, the, the map is not that great now for the Viper. Really, I mean, he did some walls, but he's quite exposed, and that would, seems he doesn't have a TC, if he could raid there a little bit, and once it works up, I think it's the way to go against the Slavs, like trying to push him as much as possible and raid a little bit. Especially with that wonderful heal in front of the gold. Yeah. They just need it there, and I think that to be recognized that. The Tato is getting ready at home as well, losing two villagers. Yeah. Was doing a mining camp in the stone, a little bit far from that stone. I was checking those nights that he's basically losing, but he's forcing Viper to have some idol. But Viper is already leading with two villages ahead. He has two TCs working smooth now, while Tato is still with his main tone center. Is he doing an extra tone center? No, he's not doing and He should make an extra TC as soon as possible, Mr. Doubt, because if not, the economy advantage for the Viper is going to increase more and more. 
Definitely and quite a weird option to go for stone this early. I guess he wants maybe a castle drop, one TC all in. Well then then he wants to go then he want to go castle four way in that TC in the main goal. Yeah, seems that was his plan to go one TC all in here. Is a good choice a one TC push here? I don't think so, would rather have two TC, like three TC boom and then push with the siege on that hill. Okay. Let's see, and he's he has now three TCs. I mean three TCs with the slabs is <laughs> with Tenity, but it's yeah. slabs especially. But with the slabs even more is what I mean, like, like super dangerous. Yeah, basically now Tato is in a big timer. Every second pass by Viper Economy is getting bigger and bigger. And that's not the best position you want to be in while playing the game. Especially in tournament game with the pressure on. Well, he he's definitely has a plan now. His plan is to keep doing army. I believe. Well, he's not doing so much now. The barracks. No, now he's doing bikes. He's, he's going one TC push, I believe. If he's not doing. No, but he's doing now a TC. Then I don't understand. When you go the stone mine and upgrade, uh, then you, you make a TC now when you could make probably already two extra tone centers. Yeah, that is kind of in the sassy this game what to do. He did not expect the Viper to go full pikeman in, then he transitioned to pikeman as well. Mm, yeah, that is not decisive this game. It probably cost him a lot here. Yeah. Well, like his 10 villages already behind. 10 villages already behind against his labs is like 20 with other civilizations. Maybe even more. Yeah. <laughs> but 22. <laughs> okay. But now the knights are trying to go and keep raiding. And this is crazy because he has been constantly raiding. Ah, he's losing them all. How many chances? How many chances now there are that the, the stupid pikes find a monk taking a relic? <laughs> really? It, I mean. If you're a viper, it happens. <laughs> and now he's losing anyway. and now he's losing another monk in the north with one pike as well and another one three monks already gone come on now seriously I'm uh, and the four that center. didn't make forward siege that's really really but he is ready to drop a castle look at okay. the farmer villagers he is going for it He's going for it, man. He's going for it. I still think that he's a little bit, uh, not late, but slower than he should be, probably. But those spikes are with plus one, plus one. Well, Viper has plus one, plus one as well. The same upgrades. Army, a little bit more for Tatot. He need to make a good fight here. If not, but all the pikes need to put all the pikes together. Oh my god, he's going for all in Tatot. He's gonna try to kill the monks. He's gonna be able... Oh, he lost all the... All the knights, oh, he, he might convert it, man. To put castle. He might be able to not put the castle. That's incredible, man. Incredible. He's trying to go. The pikes are there, but how many? Well, he's okay. He has, but he. Well, but Viper gonna keep sending pikes. Well, on top of that, Viper is ready to put his own depressing castle, and he got market. He can buy stone if he needs it right away. Looking good for Viper. Tato is yeah, trying. Just bought 200 stone. <laughs> Look at this. And he's dropping counter castle. Look at this. Oh well, the castle is doing, but he's doing the castle as well. Who is gonna make a doubt castle here? Doubt. Who do you think is gonna make your castle here? I think Tato, sadly, is gonna be with a bad <laughs> position. Oh, yeah, he deleted. He gave up. <laughs> give up. This is like a tower for you decide to. Oh, the but castle the castle related. now there. But that castle there. What is doing that castle there? Will Viper delete his own now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, but but this castle is not really great. I mean, Viper is going. I think Viper shouldn't try to make it. Well, he's doing, but uh... oh, okay, he's sending more, so more villages. Nah, this is the game, right out. The economy difference is too big. Both castles will go up, but Viper imperial age time it will be much much faster. But in this one, because a lot of people is talking a lot about the civilization settings in the tournament. This win is not about the civilization. This win is about some weird decisions by Tato. Yeah, Tato was indecisive what to do in Castle Age. He was actually in better spot after Feudal. Exactly. And he just didn't boom, he didn't commit into aggression. He was just playing like me against Lan Cheng. Yeah. Okay, he did the castle, but he lost doubt all the villages except one. All the village is forward he sent except one that really is a hero but that castle is quite late now 100 population 67 and uh this is getting closer and closer to be a 2-0 
and uh, that means that if Tatot is not doing a huge comeback, it's getting closer to be a the Viper versus Mr. Yo semi-final, which is not a bad one. No, I don't, wouldn't count that out yet. He played amazing first game. Second game, he also was in decent yeah. spot. I would not count that out yet. Okay. And Viper is also doing petars. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. Nah, he's gonna kill the castle, man. He doesn't want to wait for Imperial Age to tear it down. He wants it out of the picture right now. He's going all in. But you know what happened with till now in the tournament? With Leary and and Piper till now, they are basically the only two players that you have not seen like mistakes or, or big mistakes, like playing so smooth, so clean. You know what I mean? Yeah, even in this game, like Viper did not make any mistake to be behind in Studio Age. He just took the little bit of gamble, sending scouts to counterattack with normal play. Just did not pay off this time. Next time it might be a win game move. But, well, he's yeah, doing another castle, another castle Tatot. He's not giving too up, late, I like this. Late. I like oh, this. That's TC. I was thinking that's a castle from Viper. No, no, it's a TC. It's a TC. So that that castle also. No, this is a castle. Come on, shoot, shoot, shoot with the mangle of the mangle is what you need. Kill the castle, man. I want to see a bada boom. Okay, but he's do, sending a lot of a lot of villains. Now he can kill some villains. You need to repair that mangle. Yeah, he need to repair the mangle. But come on, what is this? Is a Spanish villiers? How he killed the the mangle that fast? Unbelievable! It's Viper. It's Viper. It's okay, okay, I forgot for a second. I'm sorry now. Forgive me, man. But he did Normally the castle so work. fast. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, did, did you see that man gonna going down? Come on. Like two hits. <laughs> two hits, <laughs> right? <laughs> Maybe okay, man. Secret bonus. Yeah, man. Secret, man. We have to join all your your <laughs> new your new team, man. Oh, well, man, this is, but Virajan number is actually not that much ahead for Viper anymore. Because. Because, uh, yeah, because uh, Tato is still booming. Now he has three tone centers as well. And going with the Rams too. Okay, now he's also with the Villies. Going with the one Ram, he's gonna kill it. The population difference is not that big. Oh, better Rush for both. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, both are no doing with the Petar. Tato will win this. This uh, I guess work, he should just give up. There's no way. He's yeah. preparing the trap. The Ram, the Ram. <laughs> well, at least okay. kill four more villagers. There you go. Ouch. But you need to kill... Oh, he's killing the villagers, man. What is Viper doing now, man? We say that he don't make mistake. He got 23 either villagers. That also count. If you check, right now it's 10 villagers difference. But it, a lot of fighters for the Viper. Well, most so... of those villagers are in the castle to help in Castle War. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, but still. Uh, Tato is still doing economy in the meanwhile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is trying to make a comeback and he's doing a really good job, I will say. Oh, just need to go back. He's gonna lose so many villains there. I one villain down, two down, three down now. Going back, he can make another castle. Tato, that he's doing where? Where is he doing another castle? Because I feel, yeah, at home. home. Okay. Yeah, but look at Viper Economy. He's up to Imperial. He's up. He's up. Come okay. on. Come on. And that's Man. entirely on Slavs. Well, I will, I will, I will just, I mean, I, I will try in Nak to, to, to nerf him, man. I, I will see if I find him some weak, uh, weak point when we, we meet in real there, because, yeah, man, I mean, how is possible? I'm asking to you, and now seriously, all this crazy battle, he did two castles, and then he find, he finished that crazy battle, and he's up to Imperial. Well, the whole time Viper had, like, 30 villagers ahead, and it's last yeah. economy as well. It's not that big deal that he's up right now, but definitely helping in this game. Yeah. Mostly oh. Slavs, mostly Slavs. He, he can raid, man. There's some nice... The Viper didn't notice. Look at the nice on the left oh, from yeah, Tatot. Send inside and kill like five or ten villages. I don't know. Yeah, but the problem is... Up. No, no. Tatot is, is doing army, man. He has zero resources right now. He is still trying to move. He has only five villages different. Four tone center. I mean, Tatot keep, keep booming and they're gonna make another castle. But uh, do you think he will give up? Oh, but man, what is this, man? He sent the nice now and he got 10 pikes there ready. <laughs> oh! Well, Viper noticed when he lost the house and Tatot forgot about those nice, basically. Yeah. Viper okay. is playing every move on point. Exactly, is what I mean. It's, it's full focus, man. Well, we we don't announce serious. We don't talk too much about this. 
in this kind of battle that is really really for for the big tournaments and so on uh, they, they the streaming right it's it's affected streaming no it's, it's better to play without the streaming no obviously it's better to play without streaming that's for sure it may be like if you're on streaming all the time it doesn't affect you that much but like five ten percent playing bigger is a lot when you play against player that is equally skilled as you it's game changing basically so everybody yeah. prefers not to stream in important tournaments yeah viper with the honor also halvardir he's doing another castle uh started to keep going man i, I love his his He's performing here because he's he knows that he's behind, but he's still with 105 villages, he's still booming, he's expanding the economy. I know that he's on the left. I think he has like five or six total centers now, Tato. But, yeah, well, but he, he's... he's using the Franks the best way he can. Put the pressure with the cheap castles and wait until Imp buy as much as time as those with those cheap uh, castles as much as he can. Until he gets imp and then try to win the game with the straightforward fight. Also well, uh, the as well for him. If you check the, the, the map, the mini map. Look how, how he has expanded now his uh, his economy and uh, Viper is in the corner and a little bit in the middle with that castle and one trap and only 10 army. Yeah, well basically Tato knows that those castles will get trapped down. The purpose of this is them is just buying time, keeping the Viper focused on defending his economy instead of pressuring uh, Tato's economy. So oh, look at the castle, the castle he's doing! Look at the castle he's doing, I mean, if he's losing, the good thing is he can <laughs> afford it. Well, he, he's buying time for also, yeah, exactly, if exactly. he can raid and maybe, maybe there's uh, some little miracle and he can go up to Imperial Age. Currently not Ouch. even close. <laughs> yeah, but look, uh, I put Tato Fog of War and just check at his base where he's doing now the Lambrican. He can see it still, but I don't know if he noticed, there's another goal. Now he can see better. Oh yeah, yeah. On the right side, so it's very important. This one, you gonna take that stone? Well, it's only a hundred stone, so. Piper resources. <laughs> Look at Piper population. It's still the same population than Tatot, with fifteen army, one hundred thirty villages, and almost two thousand, almost two thousand gold. And look at those two towers in the. In All the, the onagers. North, in the south. <laughs> Quite annoying ones. Getting the goal, but he's there with a couple of knights and he's gonna kill the villages. Well, that's good, man. Even Viper make mistakes, he did not notice that. Blood. Yeah, he's losing those villages. The Viper resources are just crazy. He has right now 30 farmers and with 30 farmers and then 41 Lamry has 31 gold miners. You can see the, the economy he has there. Well, he needs to, is... to some damage dealing units like Boyers or Cavalry to finish the game. Calvaries will not do it. Yeah, but definitely not. Even even less when there is Aximans there. Yeah. Okay. He got the Onagers at least. Oh, the Onagers can't finish the shot, game. The Onagers can't finish the game. Well, now that not a lot of farming. He got a lot of villages as well. He is still now that castle he is repairing. The only castle he is repairing is at home, like you can see. Well, all those castles, like you see, Viper hit Imperial Age 10 minutes faster, but he did not kill a single villager from Tati because it's of truth. those forward castles. So it's the only move he could make, and it's quite amazing. Oh, just look at the knights killing the Lambrican. Kill the villagers, oh, but, but kill the villagers, man! It's oh, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Okay, the Lambrican is going to be down, right? That's a game change. What do you think? <laughs> well, back under the wood, he needs to be placed now. Oh, oh but he not. didn't kill! <laughs> <laughs> Would be amazing if Viper repairs that number came down. Yeah! <laughs> Come on, man! Come on! Well, he killed a couple of villages. Mm, Tato is going up. He's on the way to Imperial, okay? He's on the but way to Imperial, but. This is not existing. Viper Bank, amazing. Yeah, but he not only the resources. Now, probably he wanted to have a lot of Axemans. How many castles from Tatot and Relics? Zero! Well, Viper is doing all that collected for Relics. Look at what army is doing now, Viper. Elite Voyagers. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's the unit he needs to finish the game. Well, we, we don't need to, to say anything about that unit because he's, he's a, a tank with fast speed, right? Their only weakness is uh, Archers, but Franks doesn't have really good Archers. 
They are crazy, man. He's in the north, in the south, sorry, with the elite boyards already. Plus four attack, plus one, taking quite a lot of villages. I don't know what is he going to do. He has few pikes. He's starting to get a lot of farming and Viper. Huge boom in the game. And now with the traps, taking back all the map. Viper con, I mean, like, see his resources. <laughs> I can't I say that this game is gonna last GG. longer. GG call, man. He's eight and uh, GG, man. Well, it's nice to have you here, man, but Memstradamus with me here is <laughs> like a joke, man. This is the, the, the game not gonna last longer. One, uh, one second after, yeah, he I, called the GG, man. I know stuff, man. <laughs> Play this you, know, you know years. something, right? You know something, <laughs> right? <laughs> and like I said, well, like, um, only Viper did was Bobby, yeah, so Kelly to finish the game. Halberd is a good to defend. Push one place, but when game is all over the place, you need faster units. To make a, to make a fast resume, uh, doubt it was the transition to Castle Age. I mean, in early Castle Age, when Tato didn't know what to do. Yeah, he was not decisive to push one TC or to go for the castle job or to boom, and he did a little bit of everything. And after that, he played amazing. But that early castle transition, he was clueless what to do. Well, and in Feudal Age, he was he was playing, he was playing good. Yeah. Well, amazing feudal age, amazing feudal age, just not decisive in castle age, how to approach that. Okay, well, I'm checking the achievements while you are telling all this and uh, Piper economy, I don't have to comment anything guys, except the stone, you can see the difference and villages they got similar, but that economy and Tato never reached Imperial, he resigned even uh, before reaching Imperial, 44 minutes Viper Imperial, but uh, because Tato was trying to push as much as possible, 22 minutes in Castle Age, Viper 23 Tatot. And in the timeline, you can see how Viper was almost with no army during the game. Tatot got a lot, and he could have done probably better in early game. Sadly, didn't, and we have the 2 0. I say sadly because we all want, well, I want at least five games. Then the doubt want 3 0, but for, but for Tatot, right? Because who doesn't want Tatot to win here? <laughs> okay, good point, guys. Well, let's go. Let's go, let's for, go for the, the third game. They don't. They don't give time. I mean, I want to talk a little bit oh, to, right to you, but game. but uh, but we are already there. Ouch! Aztecs versus Berserkers versus the Vikings. Ay ay ay! This choice. Okay. Well, Aztecs is for you. Uh, is top one in Arabia Aztecs or what do you think? Uh, on normal Arabia, I would say yes, but here on such an open map, I prefer always to have scouts in Arsenal. Yeah, but Vikings is not a civilization that you usually go scouts with them, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. In this particular matchup, Vikings got better deal to the better way to deal with Eagles, Berserkers. But we... early game, <laughs> I would yeah. probably put uh, Aztec ahead. Are we watching? Are we watching? Finally, doubt. A map that is not perfect for Viper? I was about to say the same. So he right? will this map. It's quite, quite ugly map, especially with Aztec. You need a gold. No, no, this map is a bad map. I mean, he has a nice wood at the back. It's okay, the wood. He can also wall with the other big forest, right? Little palisade to, to connect that one. But look at those gold. They are, they are terrible, man. And all that area with the berries, with the stone, is pretty open map. Super open map for him. Yeah, this is definitely the reset, I would say. Bad berries, bad gold, not the best zone as well. Big kill there. I would say he will restart this game. Okay. Or maybe I was checking... because he is 2 0 lead, he will like save the restart. Okay. I, I was checking the host time because you know that when people restart, usually you, you guys do and 3 minutes and 59 seconds. I noticed a little, a little pause, but not too much. Maybe, maybe he called a restart. I don't know. And what about that dot, that dot map? Mm -hmm. Good berries, good wood line, not the best goal, but much, much better map. It's more than playable. Well, and, and that goal, that secondary goal, is it to palisade those two forests at the back? And it's a safe goal at the back yeah, behind yeah. the forest, right? Yeah, very good map for Tato, actually. And game is pulse, I guess he's thinking about research. Hmm, is he... Don't tell me. Well, I see that stone, I don't know if you can consider that stone back a stone for, for Tato. I don't know if he has explored that, and maybe he's checking, but please, with the map you have, Tatot, mm. don't ask for a, for a Nin restart, even if you have that stone there, right? Well, he doesn't know that Viper map is well. That, that's truth. Yeah, but these kind of things happens a lot, right? Doubt you call a, a, a restart or a Nin restart, and then the next map is a disaster. Yeah, that's why I actually don't like restarts. It can work both ways. And it's most annoying thing when you have perfect map and enemy calls restart. I'm gonna punch something up to that. 
Yeah, I think Viper has uh, not. Uh, yeah, Viper has lame two goats, two ships, goats. Those two one that he's bringing, I think they are from Tato. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Yes, yes. Viper did not scout his last two goats. Yeah, he's stealing. Yeah, was was just a pause, I think. <clears throat> yeah, they are playing obviously. And it was Viper pulls, not Tato. Okay. Well, uh, what is strategy then? Mana Trams also with uh, with the Vikings and try yeah, to... Yeah, I feel it's must to open Mana Trams against the Mesotirus because it really removes Eagle play as an option in early game. I would say, yeah, Mana Trams. A bit extra HP helps as well. The good thing with the Vikings, if, if Tato want to create this game, a mess game, and try to go full aggro in Feudal Age, this uh, will borrow free, I mean, the economy from the Vikings, it might help also. Well, has to go oh. basically the same. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, so it, it's tricky. So w what to do in this situation? What you will do now? You are Tato now. And you, see, and you see all the map. Open mana tarts when you realize that Viper Gold is a bit bad. Try to play aggressive. Try to put the pressure on that gold. Most likely with the earlier skirmish transition. You think Viper will go a lot of eagles in, in Feudal Age with Aztecs or he will go also Archie? That's, that's why I say you need to open mana tarts with uh, Vikings so he can't go with eagles. Mana tarts okay. and scrims should be the Tatos weapon. Okay, I'm checking Viper. He's exploring now everything. He can see now the wood. You can see, guys, that the Viper is exploring absolutely everything here. He can see now the four villages on wood. Obviously, it's the standard with the Vikings. You don't go three villages because you're not going to go for scouts with, with the Vikings. He's doing the barrack now on the right side, Tatot. He's mining already gold. And hopefully, he's not doing a mining camp there. I will go for a mining camp at the secondary goal at the back. Well, again, walking distance to that gold, yeah. he will probably lose like 20 gold, and it's quite critical in the game to have that 20 gold. Okay. Yeah, and, and it's not super difficult to wall this area. He's doing already, he's preparing for that. Ah, don't be oh, house. Tato man. is rushing, Tato is actually rushing. Yeah, he's rushing, he's not going from Feudal Age. So he wants to go castle? Uh, 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 could so, be so walls. Yeah, it's, uh, but he's walling, man. It's, so it's good option, but I don't like fast casting. It's it can backfire so heavily. Well, Piper is. You barely see Piper come forward with villages, but I mean, if he's not coming with a lot of villages, he might go fast army and can be very dangerous. But no, he's going fast castle. Look at the walls he's doing. Doesn't seem necessary to be fast castle, but okay. When you are going for the longer dark age, you want to be safe behind walls anyway. But the most important thing for Tato is to keep Viper man uh, militia slash many times at home. That's the biggest deal here. As yeah, but much as much as he can keep those militia at home, he is in the good spot. But it's difficult, though, that. right? But it's yeah, gonna be yeah. difficult because he's gonna be in feudal age right now. He would make right away many times. He can see the militias. He smell the militias. And he did the Palisade gate, he's gonna break it? No! Because the gate is always there. But again, it's good, like, Militia from Viper home. And he's fighting before many time of so earlier Pyotr adventure is gone. Yeah, it's good, this. This is good, definitely. That's actually uh -oh. quite amazing for Tato. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna take the other, but Micro the other, there you go, got it. Well, it's good, because he got the Eagle and that Militia is gone as well. There you go. Got it. Well, Viper will not have many times now. He will probably just go straight to the archers. Okay. And now we can see how Tatot with 27 villages, he keep doing more. Well, this timing is definitely should be Castle Age. <laughs> think well, Tato it depends. Will keep option open, yeah. If he is not under heavy pressure, he will go Castle Age. If he sees forward villages of Viper, he will stay feudal. But what is the Tatot villager doing on top? Like, just checking for the holes or something? He's checking, he's checking that. And he's a completely wall. But honestly, if if you clicked with that Valir uh, inside of the walls, the Valir shouldn't go there. 
So I don't know why he, he sent the Valir there. Yeah, I mean, exactly. It will go around. <laughs> exactly. It will go around to the Palisade and don't need to go and check with the Valir. Uh, it's a Valir wasted. Okay, but I think Viper knows that with this time up, 13 minutes, don't tell me that there's a hole. Okay, it's, it's all wall. Imagine if there's a hole now and, and then it's, it's, it's game already. Damn. And tower from Viper is going behind that gold line. He is at least sending a villager. Only one villager. Yeah. Just start to know about that. He did not do the policy scouting, no. But the good thing, there is only one thing good here. Well, to, to, to Tatot. Viper didn't explore the secondary goal at the back. Yeah, yeah, that's really good for Tato. That's good. And that tower is not great. Look at the tower he's doing, Viper. Come on, man. You need Botkin Arrow at least to, to reach the goal. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, man. Well, better be safe than sorry. Any close, yeah, but, it might be explored. But 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 really, Dao, check that. I mean, it's super far. I mean, Tato is not, not gonna need to, to move those villagers. Well, let's count. With Fletcher, it might be in range. I think with Fletching it's, it's 9 range. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Oh, but he's doing the counter tower right away. But wait there. I, I, will, I will make it even... Well, he's going also for a safe tower. Yeah, front would be better, but... Close nah, but he's... There. But Tatot is not going castle. Look his resources. He's, uh, he's... He even did mana tarms. Who did mana tarms? Tatot. Really? He did mana times and he doesn't yeah. have the upper, he doesn't have mana times. <laughs> Without single mana time, I'm doing mana time. Upgrade. Seriously, man. I mean, check please, can you check if he did the mana time yes, upgrade? Yes, yes, you I gotta checked. be kidding me, man. I but I think why. he did it, man. What? And not making a single mana time. But he doesn't he, have gold. Maybe he will. I think he, he probably will, you know? And he wants to be ready to go full field a lot. But uh he did the mana yeah, he No, he's doing. Mana he's... To country eagles and yeah, spells. yeah. Okay, he's doing. He's doing right now the the first mana But you need more gold, man. You have only one village on goal. Of course, he's taking with five villages that tower that makes him with five villages behind, and uh, trying to go aggressive. The good thing oh, is that oh, those oh, archers. But he got fletching and oh my god, don't lose those. You have the fletching and armor. Fletching and but armor. But eagle is doing the difference. Yeah, exactly. Oh, but now, oh, no, Viper, Viper! Finally, Viper mistake. Viper mistake, exactly, man. Guys, we need to be hype in the chat, yeah? <laughs> Untypical <laughs> mistake. Yeah, this can't happen, really. It's, it's difficult, it's very difficult. Yeah, exactly, weapon of choice, I said. Tato needs to go scrams in my time. That's the best way to deal with the uh, Aztec. Okay, well, Tato with the skill mail armor, plus one. And... He's doing all the upgrades, even. He's going full in, man. And he probably decided to go full feudal after seeing the Viper horrible gold. He knows he can afford going full feudal. The thing is, if he go full army now and then, ah, uh, but he need a stone. He he need to push him with towers. In my opinion, I don't know what you think. He will probably add towers once he is sure that he is uh, beating with army. Right now, if he lose fight, his four villagers will die, and it's a big risk he doesn't want to take. Well, let's see. Yeah, the fight. but. But Piper is there. Piper is there with a lot of farces. He's going with the Eagles. He's trying to micro. Let's see Piper micro. I think Piper is not bad at all with the micro doubt. What do you think? Open yeah, formation. That was amazing micro. He's <laughs> exactly. actually winning that fight. That should never happen. Yeah, but he, he's winning. And the big problem is not only that. It's start to check Mr. Doubt their resources. I mean, with this civilization. He got already a market up. He's with 50 population. And this is looking quite bad. Right now for Tatot, he got a tower in the goal, and you need to push with towers or... Mm. Mm. Well, it's not that bad for Tato. this is like a standard scenario when you play against Fast Castle, and the Viper goal, uh, tower in gold is not the best. Gold yeah, line is still super exposed. A little bit back. Well, imagine if, he's, if he was doing here a tower between those two barracks. Yeah, if he yeah, could be I able to do it. Soon. And Tato is on stone already, so okay. it will happen soon. Okay, we have now with more skirmishes, he's sending more army. Those are with a plus one. Probably he will need the forging if he can afford it. But now he's going all in. Two villages more. Military is still more for Tato, so it's, it's time to push. But man, you need to push because this is snake. This disgusting snake. 
Not the Viper, the snakes. All the snakes are disgusting, but he's up to Castellage, man. He's up but to Castellage, man. Well. Check the score all the time, so he knows the uh, Viper is up. He knows it. Yeah, definitely, man. And for the Jusa coming. One, two, Barak, double archery range, and uh, it's a problem, man. It's a big problem here. Well, a Barak forward now for Tatot, trying to go in all in. What do you think, man? The population is now belong to him. A lot more army. He's gonna take one Barak down. That's good. Okay. Tato need to snipe archers. Like, Eagle transition is not scary when uh, Tato got like 10 mana times ready, but Crossbow will be super powerful. Tato needs to deal with those archers before they turn into Crossbow. Oh, beautiful tower. I mean, that that's a beautiful tower by Tatot. And if Viper is without gold, tell me that Viper, Viper can see that goal at the back. No, he didn't explore the goal at the back. I am on his point of view. And look at this, Mr. Doubt. He didn't explore that goal at the back. Well, actually, the exploration for Doubt is not the best. For Viper, sorry. Not for Doubt, for Viper. <laughs> but uh, he got the market, he can, he can sell, he can survive Castle Age for some time with no gold. It's all about sniping those archers from Tato. And he's going to kill Rangers. Yes, he will go to snipe Rangers, that's amazing. Man. That's really good, that's really good. Well, I love how Tato is playing right now. I mean, he's going all in, trying to make all the damage to the Viper. Viper has crossbows and Botkin. That's crazy, but is he gonna take it? The RG range, yes, man. Look how fast they die in World of the Kingdoms, all the buildings, man. Exactly, and like when you're going fast, yes, yeah, so like Viper did, your economy is so fragile. Replacing those two ranges is so, so expensive right now. Nearly impossible for Viper. But crossbow army number is looking, looking quite good. Let's see the fight. There you go, we have a good amount of crops. I think he shouldn't take the fight yet, but he's trying to kill as much as possible. He's coming, whoa, but he got a lot of skirmishes, man! Look at those skirmishes trying to deal with the crossbows and that archie range, bye-bye. So right now, he's doing the Siege Wars up. Piper economy, it's at the very limit. He's gonna kill that tower? No, he's walling his own tower. And now Piper is gonna try to snipe Tatot economy at home. This is what he's trying. And uh, Tatot is doing towers at home, but I miss Doubt a tower on the stone. Yeah, that should be a next one, but probably will not come in time. Yeah, he will not have stone in time. That's the market. He can't push anymore, and he yeah. is not to castle it with defensive towers. But he did this, stone. Where he did this tower close to the TC, when he has the TC to protect, he needed the tower in the stone. That tower is good, but after tower and stone. Exactly. Tower stone, then this one. Yeah. Okay, well, we can see how he's uh, destroying the... No oh, no, 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 the Mangonel, the Mangonel! Ay, 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 oh. the Mangonel is gonna start to kill the men at arms, the men at arms, Tato, Tatito! Ay, the men at arms are going to the well, hell! Now. Oh, yeah, in the last second, it. that's good, okay. But the village is in the stone, bye-bye. And yeah, the crossbows like are the coming. The most deadliest thing for Viper was that early tank crossbow. That was the game changing. Tato need to keep bigger, bigger pressure on him. And bigger control of those crossbow. Yeah, Where well, this is a... scrums anyway. Okay, come he's, now. He's on the way, cal on the way to castle it. This is, this is a good game, man. This is a when really good game. Chapped. They're chapped. Yeah. Is there hole? Please no hole. It's a hole. No, 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 no. What the fuck? <laughs> what, what, what the what? No, the doubt. What is this, man? I mean, this is not a hole. This is a cheating, man. This is a map. Is this a hole? Ah, come on. I stopped the stream, doubt. You can go I, if you I, want. I already closed the game. I mean, <laughs> I'm not in the game. I'm not in the game. Come on. Ah, I mean, I can look. I don't know if you can. If you have my channel here. Look at this, doubt. <laughs> I have the zoom. I have the zoom there. Look at the zoom that I have. I don't see a fucking hole. I'm sorry, guys. But this is this is like, incredible, man. On top of the house, you see the hole. On bottom, you don't. I, I cannot see anything anymore, you know? This this is incredible, really. This is incredible. Not well, he's not thinking of. He did not take much damage with that hole. And he did clean up all the crowd, so it was not that horrible. Still yeah, but imagine... Hole. Imagine if he couldn't go there, I mean, uh, much, much better, he, he's now <laughs> 9 villages behind, stable, skill bar in armor, he took again, now the tower down, and now Viper, without panic activated, oh what the hell, Viper found already the goal at the back, and he's of doing already he a TC in the goal, so, 4 tone centers,
For the and Viper. I assume that Viper will now go for the Berg because he cleaned all the what? Many times. They're not threat anymore. But look what yeah. he's doing. What the hell? A, a castle already. <laughs> oh, did not see that coming. A castle already for Viper. How, how much is Toki mine? Because the Viper, when he was out of the gold, he sent all villagers to stone to be able to buy the uh, gold if he needs to. Obviously, he did not need to do that. And now, he can drop a safe castle and play yeah. it super safe. Honestly, a doubt. I mean, I feel that Tato did a good strategy, that did a good push. But uh, this Viper is in another level, man. I mean, yeah. this game, I can't see that Tato made any mistake. Everything exactly, man. Tato did was really, really good. Yeah, Only man. Only made I, I... mistake not following those crossbow, but yeah. even if oh. he catch the crossbow game, would not be won. Viper played yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe the tower in the stone just to don't lose those, but. That, that, that was a minor one, right? Okay, the skirmishes. He's gonna take some villiers, okay? One villier down. He found those. Two villiers down. Probably three or f even four because he has the botkin. But, 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 nay. What? Yeah. Gonna take it. And four villiers down. So, now seriously. Th that this is getting sadly because the advantages start to be huge. And with the castle yeah. there and fortices. Uh, fortices it's about the civilizations that much because, man, I feel that if 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 Piper is with, I mean, if Tato is with Aztecs and Piper is with Vikings, something will do Piper that will dominate. As no, well, no, man. it was not I mean, even. It was like exactly they played the accordingly how they were supposed to play. It. Viper just played a little bit better. Yeah, and even in that in the in previous like, game, even yeah. in the previous game with yeah. the Slavs and Franks, uh, I saw some really good. There was like three stage during that game. The first one Tato did amazing. In the second, he 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 got some uh, doubts, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> in the th in the third he come back again and, and make uh, great again. But it was a little bit late. Now we can see those mangonels coming with the eagles as well. Night when when that when in at this point when Tato see that castle, what what he can think about that? Like, oh come on, how is that possible? <laughs> exactly, it's like. Uh, <laughs> What the hell, right? Well, problem is Tato is again in the size. He is like thinking he needs to do one TC all lane, but his economy is more than good to do three TC boom and pressure king. They could look at the food piling up. He could easily have two more TCs and spamming villagers while pushing yeah. the time he already have. Yeah, Bikis is great with the economy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, look at those elite skirmishes that are gonna be wrecked. Those Seagas are just plus two armor. He's coming with the two mangonels. I'm afraid that he's gonna call yeah. exactly what he did. The D the GG 3 0 for the Viper. What can we say, Doubt? Both played amazing. What else? Both played yeah. amazing. Just Viper always one step ahead in like Tato sees the game two minutes ahead, Viper sees it ten minutes ahead, basically. Yeah, man. It's 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 yeah, it's the, a good resume, man. 57 unit kills, economy, you can see that even more food for Tatot, with almost the same, but then, of course, stone, 1,000 more Viper, that's that castle he did, and also four extra tone centers, and 2,000, 2,000 gold, and then we have the 3-0, 3-0 here. Guys, the semi-final is gonna be the Viper versus Mr. Yo, and Leary versus Bibi, whoa. And uh, Doubt, uh, in those semi-finals, what is your predictions there? Well, sadly, now I have to cheer for Viper to win it. Okay. Viper is my favorite now. Viper against, my Viper against Mr. Yo, of course. And uh, what about um, Leary versus Vivi? Well, I see Leary is struggling against uh, Vivi style. Overall, I think Leary is a better player, but uh, against Vivi style, he keeps underperforming, okay. so... I think that will be more interesting semi-finals to see. Okay. Well, honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I think I prefer. Uh, let's see what doubt opinion has. When there is this kind of wins that is that that clear, what you can interview to the player. Oh, well, let, let's call Viper here. Let's call Viper here and give the best interview ever. Yeah, you want? Okay. <laughs> let, let, let's. <laughs> I will. Okay. I will tell him or, or message him, message him and tell him to to come to Team Speak if uh, if you if you want. And uh, he wants and we to can... brag. He always wants to brag, so he will be here. Okay. Did you call him? I didn't I message him. As well. I will send him a message. Did he leave already? 
I think he's offline already. Completely offline. No, he's here. Okay, let's see. <laughs> well, do you think we should call Tato even? Because when they when someone lose, I don't know. I I never like to call people when 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 they lose. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it can be awkward, but uh, oh, the answer a swiper is not that big deal. The, the answer, the answer uh, from Viper was, "Oh God!" <laughs> <laughs> so he's coming, guys. He's coming. <laughs> okay, he's coming now. Maybe getting yeah. That would fun. That would fun well. is the nickname. Come on. <laughs> okay, there we are. There we are. We are guys. This is the Viper. Congratulations, Mr. Viper. Thank you. Hello, Viper. Congratulations. Hello, Doubt. and the interview is gonna be Doubt against no with the Viper. All you, Mr. Doubt. How are you doing, Viper? I'm good. How are you? I'm not that bad. A bit sad that Tato well. lost. Oh, okay. <laughs> Doubt is out. <laughs> oh, so great interview. Wait, wait, oh. wait. I, I do like you. First game. What do you have to say about first game? What was this his first game? Uh, that's how you interview me all the time, so... I'm trying to tell me something now. about first game. What was first game? I don't, I don't remember. Know. <laughs> okay, I can't I can re I can remind, it. I can oh, remind yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. I can't help with that. <laughs> Hunts against Mongols, yeah. Yeah. Well, when I saw him on stone, it was obvious he was going mangy night. So I just had to boom and make sure I never lost initiative in Castlage, and that's it. And the beautiful hill in front. Hmm? Always lucky with you. Hill in front? He had the hill on that map. Yes, and because you were hands and I had in a corner because you were hands, you yes. knew all you needed to drop a castle there and win the game. Yes, but what if he dropped a the castle there? He can't, he's Mongol, he got no army in castle. He had the castle, castle on the ground, man. But how can he make castle outside with zero army? That's not my problem, is it? <laughs> it is in this matchup. But how is it my fault? It's not, it's luck. Okay. So you say first game I was lucky, man? Not my fault he used Mongols. Well, yeah, maybe. But he did, he could not use other teams, he based them. Is that my fault? <laughs> Ma'am, why, why do you make us save tears like this? It's my fault. We all agree. On that. <laughs> okay, it's my fault because it's my channel. Okay, <laughs> and the tournament. Okay, come on, doubt. You have to be pro. You can't keep going. I'm not go. professional. You go. You go. I want to see how professionals interview. No, no, this is doubt interview, man. No, no, no. I, I need to learn. I said I will come if doubt does the interview. Is what okay. I said. Well, I you did, see? Okay, okay. Let, let's. I did. Do you want? Do you want doubt? Now, Ma'am, continue. First game, and then I go second game. Then Ma'am will do second game. Fine. Go, Ma'am. Okay. I need to learn. <laughs> I, what civilization was the second game? <laughs> now I forgot, yeah. man. It's impossible, man. It's no, impossible. No, it's like the first game now. <laughs> no, but now see, in in his laps, uh, um, in his laps uh, against Franks, that uh, Tatot was doing a good field. I, I consider he was ahead like five, six villages when when you reach Castellage. What do you think? What do you think was the mistake there for for uh, for Tatot? Or um, the good thing that you did there in, the, in that transition. And I'm going to uh, bring Tatot right now to the to the interview, okay? He's here. Welcome, Tatot. Tati. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Tati, we were... man. I, I'm disappointed, Tati. What can I do, man? Vin. Yes. <laughs> okay. That... Vin, of course. Jingle, man. Card. Tati, well, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I have never got a co-caster. So be is it. I was even listening, even listening <laughs> the, 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 how he was uh, slapping his table when you did one mistake, Viper. You know, this is not acceptable in, <laughs> with, with friends, you know. Tato, he was cheating for you 100%. <laughs> he even told me, Mem, you are the Spanish, not me. You know, so this is not <laughs> good, man. man. We should I practice know. more. Yeah, yeah. True, man. 
You had him in like first two games as well. What? Well, second game, first game. Had the in first game. And first game, why didn't you make the Mangonel to control that forward hill? You knew Castle would go down. I was impressed that you read it correctly and go Mango died to snake forward villagers. But one Mangonel and some skirts on that hill, he would never be able to drop a castle. You mean after I saw the castle or? Before, before. That? You knew, like, the reason you went for scrums is, I guess, because you knew he would go for the castle drop there. Yeah, but the thing is, like, I don't think a mango can, only one, can deal well, with all the cover chests he had. Anyways. Well, yes, I agree, but, like, just making think... a siege in that hill so he can't drop the castle will be helpful. <laughs> well, he can come there with two knights and the cover chests if I made a siege workshop anyway. Yeah, it was TV. I, I, think I, th I think I should have gone for a scheme as earlier, maybe. Yeah, but that point doesn't matter anyway. So I'm so far in eco Tarkin's. Yeah, of course, because of the hole as well. You're lucky as always. It's not my fault. He leaves a hole, man. Respect it, man. He is bold. Respect, Respect the hole. Yeah, yeah and, and that hole, and in the last game, that hole that we didn't even see it. I mean, it was impossible. I mean, what happened with those holes? You always find the, 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 the spot, the well, right spot. You know what them, I mean? Man. Yeah, but it's it was looking. Fault. I even made the the zoom, and two thousand people in the channel was like, "Where's the spot? There's not a hole." <laughs> Doubt even closed the computer in that at that point. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, he said that, but he's still here, you know. We were talking. I was watching your stream. Yeah, I was. <laughs> 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 okay, GG. We were talking Tato uh, when you just joined it with Viper about the second game, what do you think Tatot was the key in that game? Because your feudal was really nice against Viper and you were in a really good position. Slavs and Franks. I know, I feel like he read my plan and he was prepared for it. I, I left some, some pike as well at home. I don't know why. What was your plan? <laughs> Since oh, like <laughs> I'm sure that he knew that I was going for the castle. Oh, this is, might be above the level of round of 32 players <laughs> thinking, so... Well, that's why I want to learn. That's why I ask why, what was his okay. plan. Okay. Seems like he didn't have a plan in Castle Lake. Yeah, we the were talking. Uh, yeah, but, but we were talking... So late. Exactly. And we were talking that you did the, the stone um, mining upgrade right away, but then you added a TC. So it was make the TCs earlier or just make directly the, the, the castle. I, I don't know. I mean, it was looking like you wanted to make the castle, but then you notice, okay, I don't have the resources. Now I have to add a TC. And then when you were forward to for the TC, uh, Viper was already almost boom. Yeah, yeah, I know that he was ahead in economy. No, no, you were ahead in at early stage of feudal. All you needed to do was like three TC boom, and then you do your castle age drop plan. And I think you would win that. Right? Yeah, maybe. You give Viper too much respect, man. He's not that good. Tati, 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 did you have weird lag now and then, like freezing? On the game? Yeah. Wasn't it like small lag now and then, right? No, no. I didn't oh. feel anything there. Yeah. No, it didn't Tato, feel as like Tato. zero lag as normal. Weird. Tato, yeah, say that lag. you feel a lot of lag, Tato. It's your opportunity, man. You got a lot of <laughs> lag there, man. Come on, Tato. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Well, and, uh, and the when, third uh, game... Sorry, I was going to say, go, when, go. when the scouts, I was so annoyed, game two, when you, when the, I was trying to wall, when you were like going with scouts and players, because I sent my scouts forward, and the villager didn't move, it just stood there, instead of like making the gate, I told it to build, it just stands still, I don't know if it's pathing or what, but it's just super annoying. Which, which gate? Uh, one of the gates, like next to my goal, when you... Yeah, it's hard to notice, he made like 20 gates, so... <laughs> 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 this doubt. <laughs> oh my god. At least I'm funny to somebody. <laughs> all, all people the come together, you know. All yeah. people humor. Age of gates, right? Age of gates. And, and that thought what in, in that um, the third game, because you were trying everything, all, all the push, and then there was a hole at the back, and then against Aztec, right? What to do? Well, the hole didn't matter at that point. It's yeah, but... like I didn't have too much scout information, and then, well, I, I knew that he had two goals there, but I didn't know where it was the third one, so like... I neither. Wasn't better, maybe, <laughs> wasn't better maybe to go Incas? You didn't use the Incas. I don't know. Well, he has to play all maybe. sets anyway. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. But I, I really, it's I was true. sure you were going to FC. I was really surprised with the middle arm switch. Really didn't see that coming. 
Yeah, especially doing many time upgrade with zero militia. <laughs> that was kind of tricky. That man, you hit perfect on that game. I don't even know how you lost that one. Which Everything one? was uh, the last one. You Everything you did was good. Uh, yes, well, not Josh. Well, he did something like that. You did uh, Josh into feudal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, every move good. was good. Uh, I don't know. <coughs> I think it was a bit late to feel as well in that game. That's why I was sure you went, were going to Josh. Yeah, I was. No I was planning to go to FC, but then I changed the plans. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I really, yeah, it really, really surprised me. Yeah, we we all thought that it was going to to, to be cancelled late. Anyway, well, let's move to <coughs> looking forward. Hopefully you are okay, Viper, because it seems that uh, you are a little bit sick. Hopefully you are fine. Everyone that was in Manchester is sick, man. <laughs> Why? What did you do in Manchester? Everyone were kissing, man. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. Well, um, now you have to face Mr. Yo in a best of seven. And uh, the civilization are reset uh, for, for everyone, so with bans. What are your, your feelings about uh, that matchup against Mr. Yo? Have you seen how he's playing uh, lately? Or um, I watched I watched on and off the series today against Lovcheng, and I really think he's not playing the best. Uh, I really think Lovcheng threw big time two of the games against Yo. Like, I really think Lovcheng should have won. No, Lovcheng did Lovcheng? not play Yo. Lovcheng, Lovcheng is Vivi, man. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Lovcheng is the guy that beat me. Leaks. <laughs> no, wait, who played against Yo? Was it Leaks? Leaks, Leaks. No, no. oh, wait, I'm talking about Vivi. <laughs> Vivi's game. Well, no, sorry, but Vivi's going to play I'm versus Leary. Yes. So uh, we all know that you want to play yeah, against Vivi because Vivi's you love him. Leaks, so good, good chances for Leary is what I meant to say. Uh, okay. Regarding Yo. Um, oh, yeah, Yo. I really think Yo threw. I was talking about Yo, actually, <laughs> now that I think about it. Yo really threw games. I mean, uh, oh, God. Who did he play against? <laughs> Leaks. Oh, Leaks. Yo versus Leaks. Leaks really threw games, man. That's what I'm trying to say. And you call me old. You're forgetting things already. Man. So, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. Um, I don't think Yo was playing well, though, but it should be. He should be playing really well anyway. Uh, hopefully, I also will play well at Sirius. So, I mean, it should be fun. Looking forward oh. to it. Okay. Well, we will see that uh, the, the, the next weekend. Thank you. Thank you for, for coming, all of you. Uh, yeah, guys, thank you for coming. I mean, congratulations! Continue, Thanks for coming. Yeah. We have to we have to keep going now. Doubt on me for twenty four hours. Uh, doubt. No, yeah, it's... some black for us now. Okay, for thank you, man. Party. It's appreciated, <laughs> man. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for for coming, everyone. Tato, lo hiciste de lujo, pero este tío con este hombre no se puede, macho. Blanco monitores. Look at this Spanish dinner. Arbusto, not just Arbusto. Arbusto. Okay. You wanted to say, you said to him that he did great, but uh, against you, Viper, is so difficult. Really, really difficult. I say that in, in Spanish, just to let you know what uh, what I said. Probably in Hamburg, uh, I will I will teach you a little bit more doubt, a little bit more words, okay? Spanish is amazing. I want to learn. Of course. Of course, it's amazing. <laughs> of course, it's amazing. You're going to learn. You're going to learn a little bit more. A little bit more. Thank you, everyone, for coming. And doubt, especially for uh, to you. It was a pleasure to be uh, <laughs> yeah, with you casted, okay? <laughs> no problem, man. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> when you know, we need to cast now when we can't compete anymore. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, if you want to cast the game against uh, the, with the Viper the next weekend, can you come oh, a little boy. bit earlier? Uh, of course, I'm professional. <laughs> was man. he late? Okay. He late? Oh, of course. It, the wow, first game was almost uh, was almost done. You know. <laughs> what a surprise! <laughs> I keep it perfect timing. Doubt, doubt. Can you cast me against Yo? Because if I know you're watching, I play so much better. Oh, then I will not. What? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> need Yo to win. Well, you mm -hmm. you really need to watch a little bit of the bot Viper because uh, he really wasn't really objective. I mean. He, he was looking like he was from, from AM, you know? Yeah. He was from AM clan. I think Jordan might be coming off the bench. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan off bench. Jordan. <laughs> Where is Jordan? Come on. Well, Where guys, Jordan? we have to finish because I will go out also with my family. It's really a pleasure <laughs> to be here with you guys. Family it's more it, important it, than it, us. Thank you for Exactly. Thank you to you, Tato. Okay, or maybe we can Tato, also... Thank you for coming. 
Maybe Thanks, maybe Tato. we can also co cast with you, Tato. Oh, well, no, you you will cast it. Right, it Damn it, Tato. Tato. Yeah. Ah, come on, man. I we have to. I co cast with you, Tato, in Spanish. We can with you in Spanish. He's saying, "Oh my God, this is incredible. This Tato is incredible." Well, thank you, man. Thank you so much. It was so fun and and so fun to have you here, Doubt. Well, it was a pleasure. Basically for you again. Thank okay? you, man. <laughs> of course, it was of course. Thank you, guys. Bye, bye to everyone. Right. Yeah, bye. Yeah, see, see you. Well, guys, hopefully, hopefully you have enjoyed. I think it has been fun the last interview. We got some good, uh, good moment with them. Hopefully, you have really enjoyed and you have enjoyed with the channel, with the well, with the channels as well, but with the tournament. And I will pay the bettings. Yes, I will pay the bettings. And what else I can say? Viper is huge. Is so great. Uh, he said what I said. What I said with Mr. Yo. I know I'm gonna tell you something. I will try to bring doubt for the next weekend as well. It has been a great experience. I will try to bring doubt. I will try to bring Hira for for Leary interview. You know because because. I think Hira is a great co-caster. I have message already and he enjoy a lot and he probably is going to come as well for uh, Leary. And I think hopefully you really enjoy with the with the casting and co-cast. I keep trying to keep the energy and the, the hype, but <clears throat> getting an expert to talk about the games is so great. It should be great, guys. It should be great. Hira co-cast Leary and Doubt co-cast Viper. Sound like a good plan. Guys, thank you so much. Hopefully you have enjoyed. I have enjoyed a lot. Looking forward for the semi-final and the grand final. Remember, it's going to be Friday or Saturday, tonight or tomorrow maximum. <clears throat> Sorry, we will say exactly the time, exactly the time that is going to happen. But the grand final is going to be 100% the next Sunday. The next Sunday, this Sunday, the next Sunday, okay? So guys, thank you so much. We love this game. Stay tuned, guys.